Good Monday to you, or whatever day it happens to be that you're watching this. It's great to have you with us. It's another Monday Memo from St. John's Lutheran Church in Bloomington, Illinois. I'm Pastor David Glesney, Senior Pastor here. It's great to have you join us. A couple of things that are going on here at Life at St. John's we'd like to keep you up to speed on. Uh, this weekend, lots of cool stuff is going on. Lots of cool stuff happened last week. We had three baptisms and faith shares and just a wonderful weekend. Great great special music by the guys singing Barbershop as well. It was really a good weekend. Uh, we'd love to have you join us this weekend. This weekend we have um, at our 10 o'clock service, we'll have the sixth graders being presented with their, their Bibles uh, officially uh, by their parents and fulfilling a baptismal promise that they would put the scriptures in their children's hands. So we look forward to that as we kick off our Thrive program, which will begin at the end of the month. More information is on our website about those programs as well as our Joy Zone program and registration for that. Also, speaking of that, on this Monday, this is the last day to register officially for a boxed lunch for our one worship service. So if you haven't done that yet, please do so. You can do it online today. Um, if you if you, yeah, you miss it, maybe you call the office or send us an email and we'll see if we can't squeak you in on those numbers. We're going to order a few extra just to make sure, uh, but don't bank on it. So if you can, uh, absolutely. If you have some guests coming, let us know about them as well. We'd love to provide that meal for them. If you'd like to bring a donation to offset the cost, that's cool, but we're doing this as part of our big celebration, so don't worry about that. So we encourage you to join us on, on the 25th for worship as well, getting back to the 18th, we also, um, on the 17th, will be having a blessing at all of our services. It generated out of a, a little service they called the Blessing of the Backpacks, which we'll still do. But it's more of a blessing for anyone who's involved in education in any way, shape, or form. If you're going to be a Joy Zone leader or a small group leader for Thrive or uh, working with our high school students or whether you are a public school teacher, whether you are what my children used to call the lunch lady or anybody who's involved in the educational process. We'd love to have you come to services this weekend so that we may say a prayer over you and wish God's richest blessings as you go and, and partake in this wonderful job of educating our children in all sorts of different ways. So we want to see if we can't uh, do a blessing there as well. Lots of other cool stuff happening here at St. John's. Please feel free to log on to our website at www.stjohnsbloomington.org and there's lots of stuff. You can go to the tab that says News and you can find it there or opportunities for lots of folks for Bible study, for ongoing education there as well. So please take a look at that. This weekend, we continue in the Gospel of Luke and we have a tough, tough lesson. Pastor Ann uh, didn't quite insinuate completely that I may have given this one to her on purpose, which I didn't. I picked these out months in advance, uh, just kind of on a rotating basis. But this lesson she does get to preach on. And it's a difficult one because it talks about, uh, you know, how sometimes in our in our life we have to make these choices. And, and living up to our faith sometimes causes people mm, uh, discomfort, as it were. And uh, But it is the action of our faith that it is required to love our neighbor, to accept those that our world around us does not always understand. And that can cause some, well, it can cause some feathers to be ruffled. But in the grace of God, we work these things through. But these are the words that Jesus brings to open our eyes today from the Gospel of Luke, the 12th chapter. Jesus said, I came to bring fire to the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism with which to be baptized and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one household will be divided, three against two and two against three, they will be divided. Father against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He also said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you immediately say, it's going to rain, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, there will be a scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky, but you do not know how to interpret the present time. Difficult lessons, but in this there is wisdom, and sometimes that's exactly the way it works. It is there to give us encouragement as we struggle in our life of faith. So will you say a little prayer with me? 
Gracious Lord, we ask that we will live into your kingdom, even as this may not always be the easiest thing to do, but give us guidance and strength so that we may live into your perfect love in Jesus Christ. Help us to see the signs of your coming, the signs of the work that we are called to do amongst the, uh, each other and with each other in Jesus' name. Bless us this day and give us what those things you see that we need most in his name. Amen. God bless. Have a great week. We'd love to see you for worship this weekend. And remember, we're blessing backpacks and all the educators and everybody associated with the educational process. So come on down for worship and we'd love to bless you. So we'll see you this weekend.